Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be painting two versions of a simple watercolor birthday card. I am using a piece of mixed media paper that is eight and a quarter inches long by five and a quarter inches wide. Begin by folding your paper in half and pressing the crease well. I am using a bone file, but that is not necessary if you don't have one on hand. Next, grab a medium sized paintbrush, get it very wet and mix a generous amount of paint. I am using blues, greens, and a shade of purple for our first card. Beginning in the center of the card, paint a small V shape. Rinse off your brush. Do not pick up any more paint, but begin spreading the paint you already had in your V upwards into an oval shape. Leaving a small white space towards one side of your balloon will give it a nice highlight and a more lifelike feel. Another good tip for helping your balloons feel more realistic is to leave more paint towards the bottom of your balloon than towards the top. So the shade should be lightest at the top of your balloon and darkest at the bottom like you can see here. Balloons are a little bit lighter at the top since the latex is stretched out more and the color is not as saturated. When you're painting, you also want to think about the number of balloons you're going to paint on your card to make sure that you have room for them all. When painting something like this, it's best to work in odd numbers. So three, five, or seven would be a good amount of balloons for your card. Working in odd numbers helps to keep your eyes moving around a piece of artwork, which creates more interest. Now that I have five balloons on my card, I'm going to add a few finishing touches to some of them before grabbing my heat gun and getting them nice and dry. You want to make sure that your paint is completely dry before moving on to the next step. So if you have a heat gun or hair dryer available, you can use that. Otherwise, you can set the card aside until the paint is fully dry. Next, grab a black pen and we're going to draw some cute wavy lines coming down from the bottom of our balloons. Do not make these lines perfectly straight. We want to imagine that these balloons are floating gently in the wind. To finish off our card, we're going to write happy birthday at the bottom. You do not need to overthink this or use any fancy lettering techniques. Your own handwriting is fine. That will make this card extra personal for whoever receives it. For our second card, we're going to paint a bouquet of balloons in portrait orientation and build upon the techniques we used in the first card. We're going to use the same method of painting a V and then up into an oval shape for these balloons, but go ahead and fill in the space entirely. Don't leave any white space on these balloons because we'll add that as a finishing touch at the end of our card. For this card, we're working in layers, so you're going to paint three entire balloons to begin with, but paint them very close together, and then you're going to grab the heat gun or set it aside and let the paint dry completely before we move on to the next step. This is especially important because if your first balloons don't dry completely, then their colors will bleed into the next balloons that we add to our bouquet. With our 
first three balloons completely dry, we're going to begin at the bottom and start painting just a glimpse of a few more balloons. So you're going to be working in between those balloons that you painted before. Begin with your V and then paint up, filling in the space. You sort of have to use your imagination to determine the size of each balloon. As you work your way up the card, your, your balloons are going to get smaller and smaller, so you're going to end up just painting simple half circles towards the top since you can't see the bottom of the balloon any longer. For this card, you're working in odd numbers again, so just keep adding these semicircles or partial balloons to the sides until you think that your bouquet is well balanced. I ended up painting nine balloons for my bouquet and I felt like that fit the card very well. And I just kept alternating colors as I went along. So for this card, we're using reds, yellows, and oranges to create a nice warm bouquet of balloons. Once your bouquet is completely dry, we're going to grab our black pen again and draw the strings coming down from each balloon. You're going to have to imagine where the strings are coming from towards the top and back of your bouquet, but just remember to keep count of the number of balloons so that it matches up to the number of strings that you tie on the bottom. And once you have all those strings tied in a bundle, we're going to start outlining the top of our balloons. You don't have to be precise with this. In fact, if you're a little bit off or create a little bit wonky of a balloon shape, that will just add to the charm and personality of your card. So for each of my balloons, I drew my lines a little bit off to the right so they weren't quite perfectly centered. Now that we've finished our outline, we're going to fill in that white highlight. So grab a white pen or even use some white acrylic paint and you can add some highlight to the top of each of your balloons. Just like before, you want to make sure you keep that highlight basically on the same side of each balloon. I pretty much put my highlight on the very top to make it look like the sun is shining directly down on them. To finish off this card, I did decide to write in cursive this time, so I grabbed a ruler and just drew a faint line at the bottom of the card so that I knew all of my letters would be lined up correctly. Just go nice and slow, and you can create a beautiful script at the bottom of your card, and you can also add some simple flourishes for an added touch of personality. And with that, your card is now complete. You should be able to paint one of these cards in about 10 minutes, especially if you continue practicing or get your kids involved and let them paint a card themselves. I'm sure a friend or family member would be happy to receive a card from them. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future projects.